Linux recently faced a serious security threat with a sneaky attack targeting major distributions like Debian and OpenSUSE. The attack, a secret backdoor hidden within the XZ compression tool, has been labeled as a threat level midnight 10.0, indicating its severity. This isn't just your average security issue, it's a cunning exploit that was only discovered by chance. Imagine a trustworthy landlord who secretly installs cameras in the bathrooms. You wouldn't want that, right? The back door in Linux is like that, a malicious piece of code that could compromise your system's security. But don't panic. The good news is that fixes are available. To protect your system, it's crucial to upgrade to the latest version and stay vigilant. Some users are even considering switching to Temple OS, a less popular but more secure operating system. This unprecedented attack has raised serious concerns about the security of open source software. Join us as we delve into the details of this attack, its implications, and how you can protect your SISTI. The Panic in the Pen Source World The open source community is reeling from a recent discovery, a sophisticated backdoor attack that has caused widespread concern. This attack targeted the XZ compression tool, affecting popular Linux distributions such as Debian and CI OpenSUSE, among others. What makes this attack particularly alarming is its meticulous planning and execution. It has been described as one of the most well-executed attacks in history, allowing unauthorized access to machines through a secret backdoor. This type of attack, known as a supply chain attack, can have far-reaching consequences for the security of affected systems. The severity of this attack is underscored by its threat level midnight 10.0 rating on the CVEROR scale. This rating places it among the most critical security issues ever discovered, surpassing even well-known vulnerabilities like Heartbleed, Logfory, and Shellshock. In response to this threat, it is crucial for users to update their systems promptly and remain vigilant for any signs of compromise. Additionally, considering alternative operating systems may be a prudent step for some users to enhance their security posture. The discovery of the XZ backdoor. The XZ backdoor attack has raised serious concerns in the cybersecurity community. This attack targets the XZ utils, a tool widely used for compressing and decompressing data streams on Linux systems. The XZ utils include a command line tool that comes installed by default on most Linux distributions, along with an API library called Libelsma. What makes this attack especially dangerous is that the Libelsma library is used by many critical software components, including the secure shell daemon. This means that the backdoor could potentially compromise the security of these components, leading to serious vulnerabilities on affected systems. The backdoor is hidden in the tarballs of Libelsma, making it difficult to detect. It uses various techniques to disguise itself, including obfuscating the malicious code to make it appear as a harmless test file. During the build process, the attacker injects this disguised code into the source code, allowing them to intercept and manipulate data that interacts with the Libelsma library. To avoid detection, the attacker has also employed advanced techniques, such as using a built-in state machine to recognize important strings and avoiding commonly used ASCII characters. How the backdoor was created the backdoor attack on the XZ compression tool was not a sudden event, but rather the result of a meticulously planned multi-year social engineering attack. At the center of this attack was GitHub user Gia T75, also known as Gia Tan. Tan's involvement in the XZ library spanned over two years, during which they gained the trust of the development community. Tan's GitHub account was created in November 2021, and by April 2022, they had submitted a patch to the XZ library via a mailing list. Another user, possibly an alias or co-conspirator named Jigar Kumar, pressured maintainers to merge this patch. In early January 2023, Tan gained enough trust to merge their own code into the XZ project. Over the following months, Tan took steps to further their influence within the project and lay the groundwork for the back door. The backdoor was completed in early 2024 and was only discovered in March of that year. Unusual but precautionary. The XZ backdoor attack has been assigned a CVE and listed on the NIST National Vulnerability Database, 
This is unusual for malware, as CVEs are typically assigned to vulnerabilities that can be exploited, not the malware itself. The backdoor attack involved complex obfuscations, resulting in a modified library that could intercept and modify data interactions. Despite ongoing research into the incident, the assignment of a CVE is seen as a proactive and precautionary approach by security experts. By assigning a CVE to a suspected vulnerability, the community acknowledges the potential for exploitation and prioritizes security measures. This allows for easier identification of affected systems and ensures that precautions are taken even in the absence of immediate proof of exploitability. The Heroic Discovery In the face of a potential catastrophe, the keen eye of software engineer Andre Frin proved to be a saving grace. While using the unstable branch of Debian, Frin noticed unusual CPU resource usage during SSH logins, sparking his curiosity and prompting further investigation. This led him to uncover a dangerous threat lurking within the XZUtils. Frin's discovery was nothing short of heroic, as he effectively prevented what could have been a disastrous security breach. The backdoor attack had the potential to compromise the security of countless systems, including critical components. The identity of the attacker remains a mystery, adding a layer of intrigue to the situation. One suspect, a trusted contributor known as Gian, has come under suspicion, but conclusive evidence has yet to be found. This incident has raised important questions about the motives behind such attacks, with speculation about potential links to state-sponsored entities. The prolonged exploitation of trust by the attacker raises concerns about the security of open-source software development. Open Source Security Consequences The incident highlighted the potential for vulnerabilities to exist within widely used libraries, leading to a larger review effort to identify and address similar issues in other components. For open source security, there is no perfect solution. However, efforts are being made to improve security capabilities and processes. This includes using a variety of technologies and practices to help maintainers and consumers stay secure when using open source software. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel for more updates. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions or thoughts about the backdoor attack on Linux. Your support helps us create more content like this. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.